Executive Chairman, Nigerians in Diaspora Commission, Abike Dabiri Erewa. Good to have you join us on the news at this time. So yes, a relief now that Nigerians in Ukraine can now be evacuated to the nation's embassy in Poland. But the Nigerian government has been criticized of late for doing too little too late. What do you have to say about all this, even as the crisis in Ukraine began several weeks ago? Well, the word is not evacuation. No country has evacuated its, its citizens from um, Ukraine. So the word is not evacuation. The fact is that Nigerians in Ukraine are now moving to the Polish, to, the, to Poland. Now there are eight borders between Ukraine and Poland. So the Nigerian embassy in Poland has given four borders which Nigerians um, moving from Ukraine to Poland can use. And at these four borders, we have officials of the Nigerian embassy, Nigerian volunteers, members of Nigerian diaspora organization, Poland, led by the president, uh, Dr. Tade, who are on ground to receive them. In fact, other African countries actually begging Nigeria to help them get their citizens, um, take care of their citizens, when they get to Poland. So the word evacuation, no country has evacuated. And when you say did little too late, the Nigerian mission in um, Ukraine actually gave out details since January 26, asking Nigerians in Ukraine to register with the mission just in case this kind of thing happens. So what Nigeria has done here, the Minister of Foreign Affairs met with the, uh, uh, both the ambassadors to Ukraine and to Russia to guarantee the safety of Nigerians and to ensure smooth, smooth passage. And that is what is going on. As I speak to you, that a lot of Nigerians are now in Poland. If there are any issues, there are phone numbers to contact. There are people to call. There are support service everywhere. There are buses to take them. It's a very uncomfortable situation, but we are glad that, as I speak with you, no Nigerian has been, um, we haven't lost any life. So yes, Nigerians are moving to Poland. There's also a possibility of moving to um, Romania, but further details on that will happen. But right now, it's okay for Nigerians to go to Poland. So you, you can confirm to us right now that Nigerians in Poland are safe and there isn't any threats whatsoever to them? Well, you see, yeah, it's, it's a risky situation. But right now, they are going on trains, they are going on buses. And our advice to them, particularly the students, is go in groups. Uh, they, they go in numbers and stay together. And that is happening. We've been receiving videos. We've been receiving uh, those of us that are told that told us that they've arrived in Poland. There are a lot more on the road. Fifty said they will get there in about thirty minutes' time. But the good thing is, officials of the Nigerian mission are on ground to receive them. There's a contact center. There's a contact. There's a place of convergence where they all get together and then they are conveyed with buses and cars. So it's a joint effort by the Nigerian community as well as uh, the Nigerian mission in uh, Poland. So can you confirm for us the number of Nigerians already in Poland as we speak? Well, we are collating them. They're, they're coming. As I said, another 50 will arrive. So just wait a while till we get more numbers. But on the whole, in Ukraine, we have between, let's say, five to 7,000 Nigerians. But the thing is that more than 70% are students. So I can't give you the exact number. We'll ask the uh, mission in Poland and the Nigerian community who are collecting the figures as they are arriving in Poland. And when will the evacuation begin? Well, the thing is, first, let's guarantee their safety. Within Ukraine, you cannot move anywhere. Nobody can fly um, in the airspace of Ukraine at this point in time. So this is the best thing to do. Get to neighboring countries. And um, our advice to Nigerians is if you are in a place where there's really no, no direct danger, no direct conflict, it's better you stay there. If you're not, it's better to be closer to the border. And that is what is happening now. It's better to be closer to the border. So in terms of evacuation, if it's going to happen from anywhere, the Honorable Minister of Foreign Affairs will brief you further on that and give more information about that. But as I know, the key thing is for Nigerians to be safe wherever they are. And we're glad that they are able to get to Poland. Some are already in Maldives. Some are in Romania already. Some have been able to get to uh, the Maldives and a few other, uh, uh, some are still in Ukraine, but in areas where really, as I now they say there's no danger. So wherever they are, the federal government will ensure that everything is done to ensure that they're protected. And like I said, the minister has met with the two ambassadors here and has told them that the, import, the um, safety of Nigeria is paramount and they have assured us that our citizens will not be in danger.
Okay, do we say have some Nigerians that are trapped within the range of between 15 and 16 as against what we believe that the uh, Ukrainian president said some Nigerians or some citizens are not allowed to move? Do we have some Nigerians below that range still trapped in Ukraine? Everybody's allowed, everybody's allowed to move. You see, um, the Ukraine has martial law, so the youths between 16 and 16 are very drawn aside. So some of our, it's a long journey. Sometimes you can go for 20 hours waiting for a train. So it's long and cumbersome, and it takes quite a while. So our advice, like I said, stay together, stay in groups, communicate, and ensure that everybody is safe. All right. Uh, because that be re Arewa, Chairman, Chairman Nigerians. Nigerians, Nigerians. <laughs> Chairman Nigerians in Diaspora Commission, we appreciate your time with us on the news at this time. Thank you.